So how quickly should you play a fish? Well, the fish is really going to decide that. On the reel, he's gonna go. When you first hook a fish, uh, don't try to get it right in the reel. That's the worst thing you can do is kind of hold your line and try to reel up all your line. If the fish will come in by just stripping in line, then just strip in line. So this fish is little and I've got 4X tippet on there. So I'm just gonna get this fish in as quickly as I can, just stripping in line, get him in quickly, wet my hands. Yep, the fly came off. So that's what you wanna do with a small fish. If you need to get the fish on the reel, the fish will tell you because that tip of your rod will go down and the fish will take off. And you just feed that line through your guides and then you're on the reel. Oh, now that's a bigger fish. So I didn't have to do anything there. That fish took line. That fish took, that fish took line and I think I lost him. So anyway, as I was saying, that fish took line. I didn't have to worry about it. He was on the reel instantly. Now, why did that fish come off? Well, you never know. Let's take a look. You're gonna lose fish. They're gonna get unbuttoned and don't let it bother you. Okay, so here's my fly. The fly is fine. The hook is fine. The fish just got unbuttoned and that's gonna happen to you. Don't let it bother you. It's gonna happen all day long. So again, just, just strip the fish in and if it's a small fish, you can just strip them all the way in, get them in quickly. The less time you play a fish and the less time you handle them, the better their chance for survival. So you can see I'm bringing this fish in pretty quickly. I've got relatively heavy tippet on there, 4X, and you don't wanna let them swim around in circles. You wanna get them in just as quick. As soon as you get their head up, they're done. And either get them to the net or release them by hand. 